hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we are going to be drawing um scooter so real quick i'm going to put you through letting you know what we'll be doing so you can have idea of what we are about to get into first of all we'll be drawing circles we'll be drawing a semi ellipse using um using foci method we'll be drawing a parabola using um locus method and um here we have a tangent we have a tangent let's dive into it real quick as always you draw your normal horizontal line and yeah, from our horizontal line we need to measure out our f1 and um f2 which is 7.8 per cent which is 15.6 so you mark out your point zero mark out your point 15.6 then mark out your point 7.8 so this is going to be our f1 this is going to be our um sorry i got lost 7.8 okay this is my sorry 7.8 so this is going to be our f2 and this is going to be the center where we get our c and d so real quick you project this upward upward so that's the center where our c and d will be laying so real quick behind our to get our ellipse let's take just one centimeter behind for our a We've taken one centimeter behind for our hay. So this is going to be our vertex point and this would be our A for drawing ellipse as always. So real quick, I need you to pick up any random point. Well, I advise you don't go for one centimeter, go above one, one centimeter. So for me, I'll be picking 1.5, 1 1.5 plus 1, 5, 3, then I'll pick 2, which will be 5. So I've marked my 1.1.5, 1 1 3, and 5 on my ruler from F. So this will be my one, two, and three. Then um, on this end as well, I'll pick um, just one centimeter from my F2 to be my B, to be my B, to be my B. But normally when we are drawing um, vertex, you know, we have our V, we have our head, but yeah, we're not giving our A and our B, we're just giving F1 to F2. So that's why we just have to assume one centimeter. You can assume whatever point, but just for us to rhyme up with everything we're doing, stay on point with me. So now I'm going to stretch my compass from A to one. I'll be aware of what I use A to one, place it on point F, cut up and um, cut down. Then I come to B, point B, stretch from B to one, B to one, place it on F2, cut that point, then cut this point down also. Um, my line was not enough, so I have to like reconstruct that. My A to one, put on F. So I need to strike that out very well. Okay, let me erase the original line that was there. So yeah, we've got in our intersection point. Then um, the same thing again, we go to two. Sorry, we go to two. From two to A, put on F, then cut up, cut down. Oh, sorry, my body is sleepy. Then cut down. Then we come to B, from B to um, two, yes. B to two, place on F2, then cut the arc we drew with our F1. Don't forget we are drawing a semi um semi semi ellipse. In fact, we don't even need to bisect down. Sorry, forget just bisect on this um top left angle. Let's forget about the other side. That's true. Then go again from B to three. Sorry, you can start with A, whichever one you want. B to three, put on your F2. Then cut up, then come to a three to a three to hey place on my on my f sorry then cut so now I have my three um, yeah we're projecting it from a through those three lines touching this line c which we call the minor axis so let's do that real quick. Uh, I used the room to construct then um real quick make sure it intersects from A 
to your line C from the major to minor. And the reason why I'm doing just one half is because just the point where it's needed is the seat and all. So we told that from F, we measured 2.3 centimeter away from F. Sorry, I'm always using centimeter, not millimeter, which is the same thing as 23, 2.3 centimeter because my ruler reads at centimeter. So that is going to be um, a way, just one way. It's not the exact point, but from the F measure 2.3. From F 2.3. Okay, this is my point 2.3. So I want to project upwards. Now from the diagram, you can see that the circle, the radius of the circle was never seated downwards here. It went a little bit above. So if we do the maths, if we do the maths, we are going to be able to tell that it is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 upwards some of you might be wondering how come how did that happen how come that happen? i knew that through the radius that we're giving we're giving radius 20 and radius radius 20 and then radius 15. so for the radius 20 imagine us drawing radius 20 from here from this center downwards now that is trying to tell us that from here to wherever the circle touches up here is 10 touches down here is 10. but in the diagram we're told we're told that from this hedge to where that tire was touching the floor was 15, 1.5. So obviously for 20, if 1.5 via to the floor was 1.5, then obviously 0 0.5 needs to be pushed in upwards. Sorry, my pencil keeps breaking. So now measure 0 0.5. Measure your point 0 0.5. That's my point 0 0.5. Then from my point 0 0.5, you just draw a little. Okay, you don't need to draw, but I love to draw mine out. My intersection needs to be out. Then I place my compass on my ruler. I measure two centimeter first. Measure out your two centimeter. Okay, so after measuring that, you put your compass. Sorry. Yeah, compass is having. Yeah, so you place your compass on your ruler next. Measure two centimeter. After measuring two centimeter, you place at that point above the line F1. Remember, then you cut down below. Down below. I don't really think we need a lot of those details. You just need just for the down. Then go back to your ruler again. Measure one and a half. That's one point five centimeter. Put at that line above, then cut on that same F1 to F2 line. Sorry, cut again on your point F1 to F2 line. So that being done, so you come down here to the tire, project it outwards to the other side. So the mass we did the other time, the radius was said 20. So if I place it here, we'll be having 25. But originally, we're giving the measurement here saying this is 1.5, but let's just keep going real quick. So um, for this, I forgot to mention, you need to project this line very, very long. You need to project it very, very long. Sorry. Project it very, very long. So where it touches this hard, you use your 60 centimeter ruler, just draw out 60 centimeter at that juncture from this line where it cuts your chair you draw out 60 centimeter then we're told that the height of the chair to point e was 15. so you won't measure it on this diagonal part no you measure it on this from where it touches from this our line c we drew from line we drew originally for our circle you measure your 1.5 centimeter where's my 1.5 this is my 1.5 so you bring up your T square, then cut from your E down to your C. So we have our point E and our point C. I guess this keep breaking point C. So let me raise SS details. Point E to point C. So I think we are getting done on that area. So for our point C, we've projected downwards. So we're told again that from point C, from point C, we have a radius of five to know the depth here and tangential here. So we're giving that radius was 1.5 here. So you and I know that when we place our compass, we must make sure 1.5 touches 
down yes rather than wasting too much time stretch your ruler again from the from the line f1 to f2 look for point 1.5 which is right here in fact you can even go ahead insert your compass touch the edge make sure your compass is touching the edge yes confirm that touching the edge then you want to cut you just want to cut light yeah so then you need to draw a tangential from this edge now you place your ruler at this edge of c so of um of this c this point then you project downwards to the points where that your ruler is sitting on the wall of your circle to get the tangential with the wrong pencil to get the tangential so you connect yeah so right now i take on tire we're told about the diameter okay it's went 0 0.8 backwards from our point f2 so i'm at point f2 i come here with my ruler measure 0 0.8 this is my 0 0.8 so don't forget i said the diameter for those circles are never seated on the floor so we are projecting it upwards don't forget construction line upwards so i have to make my tip for your height to see to project upwards now we are, we are drawing three circles we are drawing um 15 20 25 so sorry before you draw again remember we need to go upwards for 0 0.5 centimeter which is right here 0 0.5 centimeter which is right here then um putting your compass as always there's my point putting your compass we know obviously from the center to the ground is our two centimeter radius for the outer layer you draw that okay sorry so that's why it looked like one radius was bigger than the other so i'm reprojecting it again i'm gonna be having double lines so yeah then i measure my two centimeter now let's measure to be sure to confirm it's in my center then but oh well something is up with my t square but well, make sure yours is correct measure your two centimeter then measure your 1.5 as well let's measure 1.5 again this here One point five, one point five. Yeah. One point five. Yeah, that's that was correct. Then we're measuring two point five for the shell. Oh, I said shell, sorry, the case for the tire. That's yeah. Then now we're projecting we're not really drawing full circle, so, but remember they told us that it was not straight here it went upward so they told us the height was 30 30 millimeters so i think from any point 30 millimeter from the ground remember from the ground from any point here i'll pick my ruler project upwards then look for 30 millimeter from the ground measure 30 millimeter from the ground this is my point 30 yeah from my point 30 here I don't need to draw too much now, I just cut where I'm to cut my circle, right? Then I pick up my ruler again, then cut from this hand to this very hand. From this hand to this very hand. Yeah, so all of these lines are not needed. This middle line is not needed. So I think my bike is appearing bit by bit okay don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe what else now we are joining our parabola so we're told that from our point k to the center of our f was 40 meter so pick our ruler from point this is our f place four on f then mark your point zero point zero is our k right then we're told from k to j was 20 meters so map our point K down here, just put it dirt and pick your ruler right. Project upwards, project upwards with a very, very thin line. Thin line, go to our point K, project upwards. Is that enough? Yeah. 
So um, we're told that point J, the center of point J was um, 40, 30, 10, which is approximately 14 total, um, 18 total, sorry. So on our point K, measure 0 to 80, 0 to 80, this is our 80, then this is our 40. So pick your ruler, stretch out our point 40, always remember our thin line. So now we're drawing our parabola. So G is our vertex point, don't forget. Pick your ruler. Now we're dividing our K, this is TK, K projected upward, our K into two, which was to center now, we'll mark our point one centimeter then. Our J is obviously two on our ruler then on point three, we mark again. So this point three, let's just call it D, which is directrix. Then J is our vertex and um, our middle here from K will be number one. So project our points J upwards again, project our point J upwards again. Now um, you pick your, your compass, you pick your compass. Okay, as I was saying now, we pick our compass, put your compass on D, stretch to one, right? Put on our J, which is our vertex point. Put on J, then cut above the J and beneath the J. Stretch from D again to our point K, the wall K. Project it upward. Put it on our point J again. Cut up. You can watch me. <laughs> okay. I right, took it out. Forgot, forgot that. So now um we already marked that here. So wait, sorry. D to the J put here, cut and cut. Alright. So all I'm gonna tell you is now you want to project this is the wall for our, our parabola, right? This is the wall for our, our parabola. Then forget about the arc we made on this line K. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Now you want to project just from this wall to this line in such a way that this line will touch our point 80, where we measure, which is our H. And from this line, it goes this way, this way, touching this point then come downwards wherever I touch on this on this floor of our bike. So repeat pick up. Okay, so please okay, so please don't use your hand in drawing this. I confess to you I use my hand. Like I said I can't find my French curve but all you want to do is you need it from your just that point where it was cutting on your line one you want it to go and touch your H. H is your first point there wherever this to direct you to this um, down path, so be it projected downwards. So um, let's leave that real quick. Now you need to pick your compass. Um, we're told we had um, 10, sorry, before you pick your compass, we're told that beneath J, they deducted, um, we need to deduct um, one centimeter. I deducted my one centimeter, so I'm projecting my one centimeter outwards. Project my one centimeter outwards, right? Then I pick my compass where my J and this new line 10 is intersecting so that I stretch my compass to H, right? Then draw an arc. Draw an arc. Project my. So it's not T square. T square, sorry. Project, from, project my line J downwards. Project my lines you downwards, then yeah, at this point we're told the angle here was angle 60, right? Was angle 60. Obviously, this is my 60 degree compar um, T square. So let's be realistic here. If I place my T square project, it's going to look very ugly. So bro, sis, just from here, make sure you like give it a little bit distance. Project upwards. It's not going to pass through this T junction. If you check the image, it didn't pass through this T junction. If it was going to pass through this T junction, fine, we'd have placed our compass, draw a semicircle, then cut at this angle, then project that above. 
It's never touched, so don't forget. Rejected upwards. Rejected upwards, so. Pardon me, I'll be using my hands now to project all of my bike. So this is my bike. Sorry. This is all of my bike. From year to year. I had this from year to year. I had this. I had my hair leaves. Projected this way. This is the chair. This is my tire. This is the other tire. Then this is like the lower panel. Sorry. Then it continue coming, but when it gets here, it's like that. So the shape of the shield. So this is like my shield. Then this is my tire. Then my other tire. So, yeah. That is all for this. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, like, and share. Don't forget to come back for your mate. So one when hunters. Thanks.